Because if it bites you, you might walk two steps before you die. According to my research, some species of millipedes can grow up to four inches long. That's a lot of creepy crawly, but when your name means 1,000 legs, I guess you need a lot of room to stretch out. Wait, that's not bird poop. Those are small caterpillars. What a great disguise. Who would eat bird poop? It's time to leave the undetectable and go back to the understory. Look at the little lizard that you found. Let's take a lizard eye look at life near the ground. It's time to get down, near the ground, that is. And hut, it's time to play ant antics. And that's in order. Welcome to Ant Antics. This group of ants is trying to bring food back to their queen. But they're lost. Your mission is to leave the ants home while picking up all the food you can. Watch out for the ant bird, because she's on the lookout for you. Use the arrow keys to move the ants. I wonder if soldier ants can get promoted. Goodbye! I can't wait for you to play ant antics again. The rhinoceros beetle gets its name from the big horn on its head. Well, what else could it remind you of? Hmm. Maybe a shiny mouse with antlers and no tail? Nah, let's stick with rhinoceros. Isn't love grand? Help Fernando Frog find all the mates he can in... <coughs> Frog so... <coughs> it's mating season and Fernando Frog has to sing to attract the females. Use the levers to change the pitch and volume of Fernando's song and see how many dates he can get. Move the volume slider to make Fernando Frog louder or quieter. Oops. Don't worry, we can always try again. 
Do you want to serenade the great? Careful! You want Fernando to be loud and large, but don't go overboard. One more game? Great! Okay. Much of a good thing. Do you want to say great? Thanks for me. Fernando, Mrs. Fernando, and all the tadpoles to be. I never heard you say I can. Congratulations on cloning a leaf cutter ant. When the moon is high in the sky and it's night, Lots of animals come out to play. One of them would be a spectacular addition to your rainforest toolbox. Who could it be who hunts by night and sleeps by day? Who will be the one to find it for the rainforest toolbox? This winged predator is a hoot, and she sometimes makes a spectacle of herself. Owl, tell you what, this is some owl. Good for you. You never threw in the towel. Now we have our clone of a spectacled owl. Everybody does it, and it's every animal's way of giving something back to the environment. It may be yucky to some, but for the rainforest, it's a fertilizing feast. The sloth ate lunch and left a treasure behind. Go ahead, bioclone it in the rainforest. You may think it's not much, but some tree is happy for the donation. You might not want to step in this fertile pile, but you can bioclone it in the understory. I can't wait to go back there. Let's go find that last bit of the rainforest we need to bioclone. Of all the mammals in the rainforest, tapers are the biggest. Good thing they're herbivores. That means they only eat plants. Our story takes us back to the understory. Uh, let's get back on the bus and check out another part of the rainforest. 